So this time we'll be taking a look from the G.I. Joe, uh, just plain G.I. Joe, no longer the Pursuit of Cobra, um, Cobra Commander, and I call this the uh, Emperor Cobra, Cobra Commander figure, that's just me, because he's got this neat little staff and cloak and sword. So something that I want to call attention to is that they've started actually listing everything that comes in with these figures. Something that they didn't do in previous waves. You know, being a G.I. Joe, uh, they do come with a lot of accessories now. And see, he's holding this cool snake staff sword which unfortunately there's no place to put the sword uh, attach the sword to on the figure of course comes with his laser gun trademark laser gun which um, you can't really peg into his back anymore um, now that he's got this sort of vest jacket thing on but uh, he still holds it in his hand quite well also he's got a cool little snake dagger if you can see the details on that Pretty cool. He holds that quite well as also. He also comes with a little snake decorated snake baton. And you can see the curled up snake around a regular baton. Uh, that he doesn't hold quite as well, but you can balance it in his hand a little bit if you get it just right it's like that uh, he also comes with a gravity bomb which I believe is from the first uh, mini series of the uh, 80s cartoon he comes with a case from the secret element a container of uh, Compound Z uh, from the same miniseries as well. And last but not least we have his base here with his name and uh, peg holes there. So pretty well equipped guy. Oh and I'm also kind of forgetting the uh, cape here which has these nice I don't know what you call this clasp here that you can it's got this sort of felt material on one side sort of like a satin you almost feel on the inside you can have it either way I prefer it this way I think it looks a little bit better this way than the opposite way that can be removed and you can see that he's got kind of this ascot and winter jacket type thing going on and it looks like they've just used the uh, they've used the bottom of the previous Cobra Commander because you can see he still has the really nice shoes they've just put the armored jacket and and giving him additional arm you know new arm sculpts here uh, or they've reused some figures his helmet does not come off this time but he's got some nice paint application there with the silver face mask really gives it that kind of reflective look it is quite shiny you see the cobra symbol here 
and some nice button details and again like all these things you can remove the uh, outside armor uh, or vest thing and take it off but I'm not going to do that it's just too much trouble getting it back on uh, I don't like doing it for articulation of course the head goes side to side uh, very slight up and down due to his ascot type thing here arms go all the way around out bend and rotate at the elbow and rotate at the wrist he's got a torso articulation hips go forward back out to the side double knee joint uh, his feet do slightly bend it is really uh, really cool addition much more classic Cobra Commander like design than the previously released one which was really the movie Cobra Commander whole cape and sword and knife cool serpent staff here really give them a an imperial regal look to the figure nice little addition to the uh, to the line stay tuned for more Joe's and until then see ya